Hello everyone. I uh, I wanted to make a quick video for you, for those of you that are in Canada or any other region outside of the US. Um, you may run into or encounter issues with uh, formatting of dates as well as the size of your um, your actual text box and labels or even worse, any input masks that my IT lab might want you to put into your database. And so up until now, we've kind of tried to figure out, uh, you know, workarounds with regards to all of these, uh, these struggles. But by the time you get to chapter three, uh, where we're dealing with forms, there's no workaround that's available. So we need to go into your computer settings and actually make a change uh, done properly. So what I'm referring to is simply if you notice at the bottom right corner of your uh, screen where you have your clock, if your date is not formatted such as 03 for March 15 uh, the day and the year with four digits, this will then lead to problems when you go to complete your assignments in my lab and then upload them. They will mark things as incorrect. They will um, they won't recognize the dates and so on and so forth. One of the other things that we have been able to work around were the actual formatting. So anything, any element you've selected, now, if your formatting was in centimeters, that wasn't a huge deal because you can convert it uh, by putting in the inch symbol and it would have done that for you. So for example, eight inches, I would have done eight and then uh, the quotations would have given me uh, eight inches if it was in centimeters. As you notice, mine is not. Mine's already set properly and it all comes back to how the machine was installed when you first received it. There are certain questions that are asked at the beginning of the install of your computers, laptops, desktops, whatever, that would ask you where you are, what keyboard you're using, what language is it, and all that stuff. And so what happens is if by chance you said, well, I'm in Canada, so I pick Canada, and I'm using uh, English, Canadian English, and my keyboard layout is English uh, or international, it then messes things up like uh, like I, in this example it'll mess things up in the future with software like access because most textbooks and most um, resources are made for the US market and that being said if they're made for the US market they're going to be formatted in that fashion so when we get to chapter 3 and we start dealing with addresses and zip codes if your machine is installed with the Canadian settings when you do the My IT Lab, there's no way of changing it. It won't say zip, it will say postal code, and there is nothing you can do about it. There are no settings that I'm aware of in the actual software that allows you to change that on the fly. So what typically needs to happen is that you would need to close down whatever database that's open at the time. Mine, I'm just going to leave it open because I'm already set where I need to be. But for you, you'd actually have to close down your uh, access database and move it out. Then what you would need to do is you would actually need to go down to your start menu or Windows button, whatever you have. The disclaimer here is I'm using Windows 7. And for most of you, I highly doubt you are using that. You're probably using Windows 10. But it really doesn't make a difference. What it is that you're looking for is you're looking for the inside of the control panel, the ability to change the region and the date um, settings in your system. And so to do that, there are many videos out there that uh, take you one way or the other. But in, in reality, all you need to do, or one of the easiest ways to do it, is go to the Start menu and search for Region. And once you type in Region, wherever that search menu is, it's going to allow you to go to where it's called the Change the Date, Time, or Number format and the Region and Language. So I'm going to click on Region and Language right now and my dialog box will pop up. Now, keep in mind, yours may be different. What you're looking, though, or what you're looking for is you're trying to figure out a way to adjust your date and time formats so that they are month, month, day, day, and the four-digit year. And again, every system's going to be different, but that's what you need to change. It needs to be set to this, like this short date. And what you'll see here is what you see in my bottom corner, which is absolutely what we want. The other thing is make sure your format is in US or English United States. 
as well as your location. Make sure your current location is in the United States. I know this is stressful for some and it is what it is, but what I suggest is, you know, once you're done with the course, if you want to flip it back to Canada, you can, it's up to you. But for the sake of your sanity, you'd want to throw yourself into the US. And when it comes to keyboards and languages, um, also just be careful, make sure your keyboard language is US English. Mine is set by default because of my location and the way I have installed my computer. So I know this is not going to be a great video for everyone because it's not uh, the same for everyone when you're looking for it. But I do want to mention that the most important thing is that you get to the region and language settings or in the case that you saw below, the date and time formats. Okay, so every system has the ability to get there. Every system has its own unique of way of uh, it looking. But at the end of the day, if you make sure your location is in the United States and your language is U.S. English, you will get the options to change the dates as they would want you to have it when you're in the MyIT Lab system. The last thing I want to say before I, I, I end the video is that this is only able to happen if this is your computer or your notebook. If you go to a library and their settings are centimeters, the odds are you will not have access to the region and language settings. Those would be locked out because they don't want just anybody being able to mess around with the settings of their computers. So I just wanted to put that out there. If it's your computer, you should have zero problems because you will have administrator access. But if you're at a public machine, uh, you probably won't be able to do this. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew that so that you're not, uh, you know, you're not at the library and can't get, get through to it and, and not knowing why. All right. So I hope this video helps. If um, if you're still not 100 percent sure and you're uh, you, you need some more help or you want me to look at it in class, then just let me know and I can guide you through it. But this is a really good foundation. And the other thing is, if you know what your operating system is, you could also Google uh, specifically your version of the operating system and how to change the region and language settings as well as the date and time. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope to uh, see you soon. Take care.